Hello guys, today I'm talking on how to make a nice OC in um, 100% in Sunny Vegas. So, my voice is going to be off what's going on in the screen because um, I'm not recording with Contagia Studio mic. Um, so first, what you want to do is you want to get a clip, obviously. Um, that's the clip I'm going to be using. Um, so you're always going to need a song. So open up Sony Vegas. Um, import your clip. Sorry if my voice is of what's going on in the screen because again, my mic didn't work in the studio. So import the song, and the, not the yeah, the song and the clip you want. And then I'm just going to delete the video track. I mean the audio track because I can't record sound with my dazzle. And I'm just moving, readjusting the um, the frame width. So, and I'm just going to drag that over there because the song I'm going to be using, you're going to find out where the bass drops. So, when the bass drops is where you want to shoot, basically. So, like, instead of, like, the gun noise, it's, like, the bass drop goes, like, boom, the bass. So, you just play a little bit of the, um, of the song until you find the bit where the bass drops. So, you just play it. Um, so I think I click. Yeah, you just find out. See, mine starts around one twenty. So that's why I'm like flicking through. You just click the bottom left corner where the little um kind of um play button is, and then when you hear the bass drops, you press M, and that kind of like sets um kind of like sets a marker for where the bass drops, so you know where to put your clip, your shot. So you can see I just clicked it there, the play button. And I'm just going back over just to make sure that I got it right. So mine's right there. See that little frame marker there? That's the one you're going to be using. Okay, in a second now I'm going to have to stop recording because Camtasia uh, like it recorded like f where I paused the video while I was rendering and it, it took up me recording my voice there. So, wait, no, I don't have to actually. Right away. Um. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to find out where you shoot, and that's around around here for me, just about here. So you just find out where you shoot, and you press S to split the video. <coughs> Come on, when do I press this? <laughs> Um, you press it to split the video, and then where the video is split, that is where you drag um you drag that part, you drag the second part to um the where the base drops a little orange marker. <coughs> do I even do that? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I split the video there and I drag it to the orange marker. And then I just place. I drag that back. I drag this first part of the video back um, to readjust, to reline it up. And then I just rejoin them together. So I'm going to quickly s pause the video. And I'm going to um, just delete the, the back of the comparison. And this is where. Um, I'm just after readjusting, like relining up the video back to where the thing is. So, um, I think I pause the video around there because I'm just going to um render it. Like after like most steps, after every step, I just um kind of like stop it just to make sure I just render just to make sure I got it right. So I'm going to pause the video as I did pause it, and then I'm back again, and this is what is like rendered, and you can't hear the sound, but I can. And the sound, I it's laggy there, but it won't be lagging at the end because I'm going to show you what it, the preview at the end. So I had it perfect there. So I'm going to go back into Sony Vegas, and what I think I think I do next is some color corrections. <coughs> color corrections are in video effects, like you just add a bit of stuff to make it look nice and stuff. 
so yeah i had a bit of color corrections i got all these color corrections off rocket rush uk it's r o c k e t r o s s u k um he has tutorials just look up rocket rush uk and um, color correction sign vague or something like that you might find it and um yeah i just got all i got i got most of my videos off him and um this is where i learned how to do a bit of editing and a twixter i'm going to show you how to twixter in a boy in a bit it's like in my first one it's like slows it down really good so as you can see i just add the ones i like i add these to most of my videos and i just have them set as a preset because that rocket rush uk showed me them but he didn't he showed everybody them <laughs> he like made a tutorial on what ones he uses so i just add another one and the radial blur i add that as well but he didn't he doesn't have that as one of his i just add it just to make it look nice and i usually it's on 4000 but i usually bring it back down to 1000 or in the 2000s and stuff like that it's just a small little blur you want um my connection well not my connection my laptop is a bit bad so that's why sony vegas doesn't um it kind of like takes a while for the frames to find the frames when i add in corrections or effects so, um, I think I'm doing a bit of twixter now. I think I'm, yeah. So you find out where you want to shoot. If this is a twixter, you find out where you want your twixter. Wait. Oh yeah, this is where I show you what the twixter's like. It kind of, it's really slow loading up the video that I'm, I need you guys to see. It's my first, the first OC I did. <coughs> <coughs> as you can see I jump up and then I shoot and when I shoot it goes really really slow like in slow motion like that and then in my second one do I show you it? no I don't show you it but in my second though see it kind of like lags I fail it lags a lot and it goes all blue it, it, it looks nice in it but I still kind of would rather do a bit of twixter but it's grand so you find out where you want your twixter to um think it's to end yeah if i know where you want it to end so i ended mine around there but you should end it like when like after you shot you actually see your guy dropping because i'm um, falling or dying because my guy didn't die that time like you could just see him and then you split it you delete the second part you scroll down on your effects look for twixter drag it on Again, I got it off Rocket Rush. Just look up how it's installed Twix or something. And you change the speed to 10. Just type in 10. And it changes it to 10.000. I think. 10.000. And it makes you really nice and slow. Then you drag your clip back. Until you get until it kind of like a little red marker stops it. But if it doesn't, then there's going to like a little dent of a triangle pointing down. And you just split it there. So, um, hmm, what do I do next? It's actually really annoying because it, my voice, the thing I recorded in Contagious Studio didn't work, my, bike, my mic didn't work. But I dragged the capacity down on the first clip where I'm doing a trick shot. It makes it a bit darker. So, like, when I take the shot, when it comes up to the shot, it, it just it shoots and it goes all bright. So you can see it's a bit dark there, and then when I take w when I show you the preview at the end, he like takes the shot and it makes it a bit bright. So I'm showing you the. <coughs> I'm going to at the end of the video. I'm I um pause the video. I render no. I end of this the Camtasia. I render, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm just lining up the music where I want it to start and where I want the music to finish. So usually you want it to finish, like you don't want to like say like if you have a guy singing, you don't want him to like just stop singing like at the it's just like if he says a couple of words and he just stops. It doesn't look it looks doesn't look too great. So like you just want to like um play a bit of it and then just like play a bit of it to the end, like I'll show you when you'll see what I mean. And then you just double click the timeline 
and then you drag those two blue lines to the end of like that out to the far ends and then I pause the video I think no I don't <laughs> Uh, yeah, you double click, you drag one to the start, you drag one to the end. Just leave a small gap um, because you don't want the other clip to start right um, straight into it because you won't be able to see a half, you might be able to see the half clip if it loads real quick if you have a good connection. So just do it and then name it. I got my um, render settings off some guy, I just typed in best dazzle Sony Vegas render settings. And I got them because I use a dazzle to record. So I just render and I pause the video, I think. No, do I? Yeah. So I come back then and what do I do? <laughs> um, this is actually really annoying. Oh, yeah. I, show, I think I show you my second one. My second OC. Yeah, this is the second one. This is what I mean about the Twixter. When um, the Twixter fails, it goes like all blue and stuff. At the at the end of it, it goes all blue. It doesn't slow it down. Doesn't go really slow more. It just goes all completely blue and it lags and it doesn't look. It it looks all. It actually looks pretty nice. But I'm too sure which I'd rather the Twixter or that. So as you can see, it loading. It's because I have a Camtasia, I'm rendering Sony Vegas. It's taking a while to load. Really doesn't take that long. So. I just quickly show you what I hope. <laughs> yeah, I skipped towards the end. And it's like right here when I shoot. See, so went that blue and it went a bit leggy. That's what I meant. So, guys, um, I hope you watch this. Uh, thanks for watching. Please, um, please rate, comment, um, thumbs up, favorite, like, whatever to this video. If you need any help with um, software, Sony Vegas or Com or Cine 40, I'm glad to help. Or I'm gonna get used to Adobe After Effects and Photoshop. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and um.